Hmm. Good morning, fam. Good morning. Get the toast on. Uh, day 10 for me. Day 10 for me. My neck feels horrible. Damn. Come on, fam. y'all a couple more minutes my nose uh, day after now uh, y'all got home late from the barbecues don't be acting like you were not at the barbecues Great morning, great morning. Let's go and get started. So, to morning, this morning, I had the great honor of having the Icelandic glacier water. Good morning, Miss Sheila. I couldn't find a big bottle, so I had to, and plus they had these on sale. But great Ujima to you. Um, their collective work and responsibility. The modern principle is righteousness. Um, the M7 principle is respect. Uh, the hermetic law is vibration. Uh, man, all right. Bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. Woo, all right. Let's get this water in this. I like this Icelandic water, this... This glacier water, man. This is this was. Is it, it's a glacier. Uh -oh. But we did this one last last week, I think on Kuji Chagalia or Ujima. But I had an opportunity to sample it in Columbus. I want to make sure it tasted as good in Columbus as it did in in um, Akron or Cuyahoga Falls. Yes, it does. I'm wondering why my camera's not acting right. It's not my camera, it's me. Uh, I woke up with a, with a, my neck was sore. And this started last night. I don't, I don't know what's quite going on with that, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm on day ten. I'm just, I'm just, 
I'm glad I made it to day 10. I don't, I want to eat. I've been having visions about recipes and shit. It's crazy. I don't even eat like that. But I'm, I'm, I I'm, got recipes I want to try. I got this, I got this pizza I want to make. You know what I'm saying? I want to make pizza. You know what I'm saying? It's like, wow, like shit. Having dreams about eating chicken. And I ain't eat chicken in years. But, I'm feeling the facts. Before, um, last night, I didn't have I didn't have any dreams, or at least I don't remember the dreams like I've been remember remember previously. Um, we got a show coming up where we're gonna be talking about DMT um, and possibly other psychedelic um, drugs, and um, I ain't gonna call them drugs, but um, psychedelic chemicals. And I'm, you know, because I'm, like I asked yesterday, I'm really wondering, you know what I'm saying, our, our community's been flooded with all types of drugs, but you never hear about a community being flooded by hallucinogenics. And I, I'm starting to understand why. Mm. Get that water in you, family. I'm trying to see how many. Sixteen point nine. I only need two of these. I keep one of these for later on this morning. All right. So today on the um on the YouTube show. On the Daily Toast, we're going to finish our discussion on the mimetic, the mimetic virus. And this is a virus that everybody has. And this, I mean, this, this, it was so good that I had to break it up into two parts. Um, and it gets into talking about how we unconsciously copy each other we 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 think our desires in a lot of cases are ours but we start discover to discover that when you start reflecting you start realizing that a lot of the desires that you had in your life were not your desires they were desires that you mirrored from other people and in mirroring those it caused competition and in some cases, that competition led to violence. You know what I'm saying? And if we look at the cycles of the world, we look what's going on in the world, we could see this cycle of violence going on and on. And then it gets into it gets into the uh, scapegoating process. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, oh, she, so, okay, so the dream thing is not just a, okay, good, all right. I just want to make sure I ain't losing my mind. You know, I need, all right. But, um, it gets into the, the whole desire. It gets into the whole scapegoating thing and how the scapegoating mechanism is a necessity in a society like ours. Right, which when you understand, it's sort of like understanding um, nature. So when you understand the the whole scapegoating piece, is almost predictable what's going to happen or what has to happen in order for a piece to be brought back to society. Right? Um, they they describe the mimetic mimetic process or uh, the, the the mimicking process the the mean the meme virus right for example if you got two kids and um you got maybe a room full of toys 
is a good chance that if you got children, you know that eventually your children are going to gravitate possibly towards the same toy and may want and and in that want, the first one that had the toy, um, will will be we'll playing with the toy. The second one will desire the toy, and eventually you will have and some form of outbreak with the toy. Now, the child don't necessarily, the other child don't necessarily want the toy. You know what I'm saying? The child, the child just has a desire that he feels need to be met, right? And will, in a sense, break, have a breakout or be willing to fight to get the toy from the other child. I mean, that's the mimetic process. That's that's basically how it works. You can see it in children. I see it in my, my daughters every day when we go when, when when we go for a ride, right? I have a rule, a long standing rule in my family. The oldest ride in the front seat. So my youngest daughter always wants the front seat. Oh, it don't matter. She just wanted she just wants the front seat. Right? And then when she's able to sit in the front seat, she don't even want the damn front seat. The whole piece is her desire to be in the front seat. Now, this is the question for most of us, right? If we live in a culture, see now, and this is this is what's important about this mimetic process, this mimetic, this whole mimetic piece. It is the root of culture because we mimic each other. We 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 mirror each other. We build off of each other, right? So, it's certain desires in our cultures that we strive to reach, right? Now, the question we have to ask as black folks is, who are we mirroring? Who are we striving to be like? And is that desire leading us to the end that we need. I was just listening to a song. Um, what means the world to you? Um, I can I don't remember the group, but it's a it's a it's a pretty it's a pretty old, at least old and in, in the today standards. What means the world to you? My money, my car, my boom boom boom. What means you know what I'm saying? It was basically money and sex. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the question we have to ask. Peace. Good morning, Shaka. The peace. The, the thing we got to ask is, what mimetic virus do we have flowing in our community, and in our families, and in our lives, and is it leading us to where we need to be? Get your water, brother. So that's. That's not in a nutshell because I got. I'm gonna do a little bit more research on this man because that that whole piece blew my mind because what goes along with this is human sacrifice, royalty, um, rising up out of this whole concept, um, culture, this being the heart of culture because from the scapegoat or the human sacrifice that is made that is necessary to bring peace rises the rituals the taboos the uh codes that keep society or keep culture together and according to the scientists or the philosopher this is the root of all cultures and i'm sitting up here like god damn i'm loving it i'm 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 loving being able to get up every morning and do this research and then share this stuff. But part two is coming out. Check out part one. Ah. Woo! Let's get it in. Mm. 
I go to the dentist today, so I'll be crying. Um, y'all ready? Let's get it. <gasps> it's not that. Oh, okay. It was. Y'all see the hesitation? Did y'all see the hesitation? I love my stuff, man. Oh, all right. This is the original. This is the original. Now, maybe I should have started with the uh, lemon lime. But, you know, this is the part of the fast now. It's just water and that ambrosia. So, uh, Man, oh man. Do y'all see that? What a way to start the day. All right. Why is bubbling? We're going to toast those ancestors. Calling on that creator by whatever name you choose to call that creator. We lift our glass. We salute that creator. We, 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 we praise that creator. We open our hearts to that creator. And we, we, um, we ask the creator to be present in each and everything that we do, each and every decision that we make. We salute that creator and we say, I shake. From there, we call on our ancestors, and I did have somebody who had an ancestor that wanted they wanted me to call on Sister Enya. I'm calling on your ancestor, Margaret Mar Mar Margaret Towns, right? So we call on those ancestors and we lift them up. You call on our personal ancestors, our grandmothers, our grandfathers, our uncles, and our aunts. Um, we ask them to be present with us as we take this toast. On their behalf. We lift up our glasses. We salute them. Um, we thank them for being present in our lives and allowing and allowing us to even exist. Allowing us to come through them. We lift them up and we toast them. Um, I'll go through my family line. If you got yours, you can throw them out as well. Miles Brown, Ms. Ann, Robin and Tex, Emma Davis, Herman Brown Sr., Rosalie Tilly, George and William Walton, Christopher and Fat Chris and Fanny Gatson, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, Margaret Ellis, Cecil Ellis, Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown, Alvira Brown, Barbara Twiggs. Wash Ellis. Wash Ellis Jr. Jamon Jones, Jeremiah Tappan, Montague Pittman L, John Fillard, Elder Harrison, Elder Farmer, Elder Donaldson, Normal X, Sepet My Ra. Dr. Mary Ann Williams, Pastor Yusuf Weston, um, Tony Clark. Uh, that's all I can think of right now. That's all I can think of right now. We toast our ancestors and we say, Ashe. From there, move on to our to the present moment. We toast this day of Ujima, which is collective work of responsibility. We also toast because it's the day of righteousness, the day of respect, and the day of vibration. So we lift up our glass.
to this moment, to the now, which all our power lies in, and we say, I say, from there we move on to our children, our children's children, on to infinity. Uh, what a beautiful, be I had a beautiful time with my daughters yesterday. Um, we toast our children, and of course, we know that what we put in them, you know what I'm saying, reflects through. So realize that when we're raising children, we're either singing our praises or telling on ourselves. So we toast our children because they're going to let the world know. We toast our children and we, and we say, I say, um, last but not least, family, I toast you. I toast you in your struggles. I toast you in your times. I toast you in your victories. I even toast you in your defeats. You know what I'm saying? So that maybe we could learn together so that we don't have to take any more L's. You know what I'm saying? Or at least take L's by ourselves. It ain't fun to lose by yourself, to be a loser and a loner. Ah, we toast. And we say, I say, I say, I say, family, I wish you peace in 100 years. And I will see you tomorrow after I get back from the dentist. Um... I'm keeping up with my packet. I'm going to finish the rest from last night, this morning. Then I'm going to lay it back down. My neck is killing me. <sighs> mm. My only regret about this fast at this point in time because I know I'm going to be able to eat maybe in the future unless some shit go down in between now and then but then I'm going to still hit the grocery store before and get it in but I may no no and my neck getting worse you know what I'm saying I, I, I no, matter of fact, before y'all came on, I was icing down. I ain't did that. You know what I'm saying? I, I usually, the cold shower suffice, but I woke up this morning, and I'm like, damn. It made it hard for me to do my breathing practice. I might not be able to drink ambrosia after a while. Because this, I mean, this fast is all I got. You know, so mm. all right, family. I'm gonna let y'all go. Um, I'll put something together for tomorrow, and I'm out. Peace, to brother Shaka. Peace to sister Sheila. Um, peace to Miss Inya. Um, I got your toast in. I told y'all if y'all if y'all let me know, I'll write them down. And I will get them on the next day. All right, and I am out. So thank you for joining me on the toast.